What's up guys, it's Friday here from Lake Acre Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're headed out to do another search and recovery dive today, but we're gonna do it a little bit different. Instead of just kind of walking you through the search and recovery and giving you some pointers on how to help, we're actually gonna be doing some product testing today during the search and recovery. Orca Torch was very gracious to me and they sent me this Orca Torch D550. Now, if you've been following our channel for a, a, quite a while, you will know that we have already done the review on the Orca Torch D550. Unfortunately, the review that we did, the light then, the D550 series, only come in like 900 looms. This is a new and improved D550 model and it's a thousand loom light. And like I said, Orca Torch sent me this light to do some product tests and see what I thought about it. So we're gonna take it out in the search and recovery and see just how well it does here in our local environment. All right, guys, this wouldn't be a normal search and recovery dive if I didn't try to teach you something. We're going to go ahead and jump in and see how well this light works on a search and recovery dive. And then after I get out of the water, I'll break the box open and kind of show you everything that comes with it and give you my final review of what I think about the new and improved uh, Orca Torch D550. Um, one thing I will state real quick, this light has a push button on the back, and I'm not too keen on that. I think push buttons come on way too easily if you just bump them, so I do prefer a twist head, but, uh, but we're going to see how this light performs during the search and recovery. On this particular search and recovery, it is an overhead environment. I'm going up underneath the dock system. I'm not going to have any ambient light whatsoever, and I'm dealing with about 15 foot of depth here. So... Since this was kind of an impromptu search and recovery, I didn't really have anything to assist me to search, and obviously I'm doing this in a solo diving situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my reel and my SMB, and I'm going to attach my SMB to the dock right where the gentleman said he lost the phone. So I'm just going to kind of loop it around there, and then I can use my reel uh, and line system as a uh, reference line. So as I descend down, as long as I keep that line straight, then that's going to give me a reference line directly underneath where the gentleman dropped his, uh, his iPhone. So as I continue to go down, if we remember what drop radius is for, you know, whatever your depth is, the object can move that equal distance. So I can actually use this line not only as a reference line, I can also use it as a search line too to do a sweep or a circle search uh, just by swimming in that, that given distance, that 10, 15 foot distance. We're going to go ahead and descend down. And the first thing you'll notice about this Orca Torch, it's a dual beam light. So you're going to have a spot beam there in the center. You're also going to have a flood beam that kind of extends out and you can already see just how turbid the water is and with this thousand looms i've always felt that the thousand looms is the perfect lumen for turbid water it's just enough to cut through that but it's not enough to really kick back and blind you with uh, a lot of high powered light systems uh, you can get blinded because of the turbidity in the water it'll just basically reflect a light right back in your eyes but now that I'm down here on the bottom and I've got my reference line that I'm just kind of holding on to, I'm just going to do a quick sweep here. And if I don't see the phone, then of course I am going to uh, do a full sweep or circle with it. But how am I using this light to search? Well, I'm just looking for reflections. I'm looking for any shiny objects. I'm looking for the profile of the phone. We all know what a, a smartphone looks like. So I'm just looking to see if maybe it got buried a little bit or uh, exactly where it's at. And that, as you can see, very, very quickly, I was able to come across the phone. You can see the light reflect back off of it. Um, so what do I think about this light? I think it's a really, really good search light. It's lightweight. comes with a little hand mount or a little glove mount there that uh, makes it very convenient. Like I said, it does have the push button, which I'm not too keen on. I'd rather have a twist head, but, um, but it's a great light. We're going to go ahead on the way up during the ascent phase of this search and do uh, some product testing here and just see what all features comes with this light, see what the different modes are. Uh, does have two different beam uh, strengths so you're going to have a high beam and a low beam like I said the high beam is a thousand looms um, and you're also going to have a strobe feature built both into the uh, the high beam and the low beam so I'm going to test it out to see just how it works and that's a neat little feature especially if you're trying to get somebody's attention late at night um, and you can't wave your hand fast enough you can actually turn on the strobe feature of it 
but uh, we'll go over all the specifications of this lot once I get out of the water and I can break it down, show you what comes in the box uh, as far as lanyards, batteries, gloves, chargers, all that. We'll, we'll go over all that once I get out of the water. But yeah, I think it's a great search light to be honest with you. I was very impressed with it. Uh, I still would rather have a twist headlight instead of a push button. But yeah, all in all, I personally think the Orca Torch D550 would be a great search light for any search and recovery diver out there. Alright guys, so now that we're out of the water, let's go ahead and take an in-depth look at the Orca Torch D550. Like I said, this is the second version. We did a previous review on this, and, in, and the previous version only had about 900 some looms. This is clearly a thousand loom light. If you want to see my old review, check out this link up here, and I'll also drop you a link down below as well. And that way you can actually go watch the old review and see how it's been upgraded over the over the past few years. Now, a couple little uh, things that we want to note here. It does say that it has a high lumens of a thousand looms. Um, max run time is five hours and 45 minutes. I'm assuming that's going to be on the low setting. Has a 253 meter distance beam and, of course, a 150 meter uh, depth rating as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open it up and see what all comes in the box with it. So the first thing I'm going to pull out, of course, is the light itself. It's an anodized aluminum light. It's very durable, uh, very extremely lightweight. Even with the battery in it, it's extremely lightweight as well. Um, I didn't have any trouble using it underwater. It wasn't uncomfortable being on my hand. Now, it does have a tail cap switch here that is the on and off. I'm not a huge fan of those, especially for diving. I would much rather have a twist head, but I will come back to this tail switch here briefly because I'm going to show you how it really comes in handy with uh, the way that you're going to wear this light as well. It does have a battery charger here. It's just a single bay battery charger, and you are going to get two 18650 uh, batteries. They are rechargeable, which makes it very nice. You can have one ready to go at any given time. Even when the other one dies, you simply throw the other one in, and you're good to go. You are going to have a glove. This is a soft uh, Goodman-style uh, handle glove system. We'll come back to that briefly. You're going to have three spare O-rings for the light itself, and you are going to have a lanyard. Most of the time, these lanyards I just simply throw away. I tie on a, a bolt snap very easily, and that way I can clip it off, say if I'm using it as a backup light or anything like that. Let's go ahead and look at the user manual real quick and read just a little bit about the light says we've got uh, three different modes, high beam, low beam, and of course we have a strobe mode. The high beam is 1,000 looms for approximately 2 hours and 5 minutes. Low beam is 367 looms for 5 hours and 45 minutes. And then the strobe, it says it's 1,000 looms. Now one thing I did notice, even though it doesn't state in here, it depended on which mode I was in. So if I was in a high beam and I turned the strobe on underwater, it was a much brighter light than if I was in low beam and turned the strobe on. So I don't know if that was uh, meant to be that way or if Orca Torch just forgot to put it in here, but I did see that there were two different strobe strengths when I was underwater with it as well. So that was a cool little feature to note. Looking at the glove, this is, like I said, just a soft Goodman uh style handle if you will it is ambidextrous so you can wear it on your left hand or you can flip it over wear it on your right hand now the light actually mounts in this little neoprene sleeve here and i gotta be honest i'm not a huge fan of these neoprene sleeves now i do use these gloves with other lights but the other gloves I have have a Velcro strap to come through to secure it. And the reason I like the Velcro strap is if you ever put a light in that sleeve and you go to turn the light on, you're just going to twist that, that light all the way. It's not going to lock in. So typically when you do that, you have to use this little lanyard tag here to kind of zip tie say the back of the tail cap to that so that when you turn the head the light doesn't move now the good news is with this one it does have that tail switch so you're not going to have to turn it on via the head and it just sit there and turn in the sleeve you just simply push the button here in the back and it comes on and off uh, like I said, even though I'm not a big fan, it's really handy when you're using a glove system like that. But that's everything that comes in the box with the new Orca Torch D550. So here's my final thoughts. I personally believe that the Orca Torch D550 is going to be a great all-around dive light, whether you're a novice diver, you're a brand new diver, or maybe you're an experienced dive professional. And I really think that tech divers will like this light too. Yes, it comes with rechargeable batteries. It's not going to be a canister light. So you could theoretically use this as a backup light as well. For me personally, as a search and recovery light, I think this light is phenomenal. It's got the right amount of looms that I personally like for even turbid waters, that thousand run 
uh, or those thousand looms. About the only hiccup with the light that I'm not too keen on, and I'll say it and say it and say it again, is that tail cap switch. I would rather have a twist head. Just personally, if I have this in my gear bag or something and the battery's in it, it doesn't take much for that tail cap switch to get hit. And of course your light's gonna come on and it's probably gonna run your battery down. Good news is there is two batteries that come with this light and I think you're gonna be good to go with it. So I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I actually really enjoyed this light. We'll probably be giving this light away in the future, so stay tuned for a future video to see if you can win a chance to get actually get this light as well. But if you want this light for yourself, if you do wanna purchase it, there'll be a link down below. You can click the link and actually purchase this light. Like I said, it's gonna be great for uh, new divers all the way up to experienced divers even technical divers it's going to be a great lot for you backup or primary because i really hope you enjoyed this review i hope you enjoyed the search and recovery and i hope you learned something from the video as well if you did give me a big thumbs up definitely share it as well as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business